Hey guys, it's Fantasia and welcome to another Sims 4 news and discussion video. So today we're going to be talking about the recent tweet that The Sims made the other day, letting us know what we're going to be getting throughout the summer. So they tweeted who's ready for a hot Sims summer and they tweeted a photo here that I'll go ahead and put up on the screen and it basically lets us know all the things we're going to be getting from the months of May, June, and July. So we are getting a total of three new packs, one kit pack that actually just released today, a game pack, and a expansion pack. We are also getting three three new base game updates completely free, as well as a virtual block party for Pride, which I was not expecting and I'm honestly very happy about this and I'm sure a lot of you guys are happy to see that as well. And then also the Sims event of the summer. I don't know if this is just referring to like EA Play, I'm assuming, I don't know. So today we're gonna be talking about all of this and we're gonna be talking about my thoughts on the expansion pack. So above every pack, we got a little hint. So for example, it says courtyard and chill with a relaxing new kit, which we already knew what that was, but regardless, that was their little hint for it. And of course it's out now, so everyone knows what that is. Then for the game pack, it says snag a cool new career with a creative new game pack. Now this makes me think it's music related, which I would be happy about. I'll talk more about that soon. But then for the expansion pack, this is what I really wanna talk about. And I don't want this to be a negative video or a rant video, but I need to just talk about some things. This is not necessarily a negative video. It's just sharing my thoughts, you know? I I feel like we should talk about these things. So for the expansion pack, it says bond with nature in this charming new expansion pack. When I read this, I can't lie to you guys, I was instantly kind of sad. <laughs> and I know maybe that seems a little dramatic. However, I know a lot of you guys can relate to me because a lot of us most look forward to the expansion packs. Of course, we get the least amount of expansion packs every year because they're the biggest packs. So most of us are just really excited for what expansion packs we're gonna get every year. A lot of us are very excited for the summertime expansion pack and rating bond with nature really kind of freaks me out. And I say that because, well, on one hand, this could mean something very good, which I'll go over soon. However, when I hear bond with nature, I think of like a nature related pack like eco lifestyle, island living, outdoor retreat. We already have all these nature packs and I'm just kind of confused. So this is basically taking generations off the table. It's officially confirmed that we are not getting generations this summer. Generations is not gonna be the next expansion pack and I'm honestly really upset about it. I can't lie to you guys. Comment down below, were you really crossing your fingers for generations? And when you saw this, were you just kind of sad? Because hopefully I'm not alone in that. I feel like I'm definitely not like a lot of people wanted a generations, but I had to make this video talking about this because I'm just one surprised, two confused, and three, I really just wanted to let those of you guys know who are waiting for generations and thinking it'll be the next expansion pack. I just wanted to let you guys know that that's not the case. So we can all just stop getting our hopes up about that because honestly, my hopes kept going up and I know I shouldn't do that, but it just kept kind of feeling more and more like maybe we really will get generations for the next expansion pack, but that is not the case. So the one good thing that could come out of Bond with Nature, they could be kind of messing with us here and being very discreet with it. This has a small chance of being farming. Now, I don't know why they would use the term Bond with Nature. I mean, yes, farming, like I guess there's some nature aspects to it. Like, you know what I mean? Like growing crops, but then still that like doesn't make sense to me to say bond with nature for farming with farm animals and like growing crops. And I don't really get that. To me, bonding with nature is like the packs that we have already gotten, like eco lifestyle, island living, you have to fix up the island, you know, make it a more beautiful place. That's like bonding with nature. To me, like eco lifestyle, it just reminds me of Earth Day in a pack. And we just keep getting so many nature packs. And then of course, I mean, even jungle adventure, you're in the nature, you're going through the jungle and then outdoor retreat, you're camping in the nature. So I just don't really understand why they chose these words because automatically it's gonna make people kind of concerned. Now they could be kind of throwing us off and maybe this has to do with farming in some way. Now, if that's the case, I'm not upset anymore because the two expansion packs that I really, really want is farming and generations. And whichever one we get first, I don't really care. Yes, I want generations more, but it's fine. Well, you know, I'm not gonna be too picky with that of which order they come in. So if this did end up being farming, I 
you know, that would be really fun, I feel. A lot of people want farming. It would make sense. It's been very requested. It's something that we've been waiting for. That would make sense. I just, I'm very confused about the little hint that they would use. I feel like if it was farming, they would use a different hint, but maybe, like I said, maybe they're just trying to throw us off a little bit. So we're not just like, oh, it's farming, you know, because they could have, I mean, I feel like it's very easy to give away farming. This may be the only way they thought of like wording it where it's gonna kind of make us think, is this farming or is this something else? Another Another thing that was not my original idea, I actually saw this going around. I believe Simmer Erin talked about it. However, I have not seen her video, so don't quote me on that. I need to go watch it. I just saw some comments and I think they did mention Simmer Erin. She's amazing, by the way. Go check her out. She does amazing, amazing, amazing Sims 4 videos uh, and pair lives and stuff like that. Just really good content over there. There's been some talk about bond with nature, potentially meaning fairies. Now this would make a lot of sense. And it also says charming which like fairies. So the only thing with this is usually they don't put an occult in an expansion pack. If they wanted to make like a whole fairy world and just go all out, like I feel like people feel like there's not much you could do with a fairies pack, but at the same time, it depends how you go about it because fairies could get a whole full world. Like it could be a whole magical world, which we have not seen. Of course we have the realm of magic world, but it's just like little and it's just like for your spellcasters to go and like do their magic. We, ha we haven't seen like a full, like magical, mystical, like charming, beautiful world that just looks very much not like real life, but you know, different colored trees, like pink and purple tree. Well, that's in Willow Creek, but you know what I mean. Kind of like the area, you know, that tree you can go into in Willow Creek, you know how it looks there, but like do a whole world like that. And maybe fairies have their own like special lots. And I mean, I just feel like there's a lot they could do there. They could make a very magical pack. When I say magical, I don't mean like realm of magic. I'm thinking like magical, like Tinkerbell and like, like you know, <laughs> different well, unicorns, all of that type of magical is what I mean. Not so much like witch type magical. So yeah, I mean, I feel like that is, is a possibility. I feel like it's unlikely, but I could be totally wrong. That's the main thing I want to talk about here, but we are going to talk about the game pack as well. But I just want to know your guys' thoughts about this expansion pack. I am just, I'm sad about no generations and it's officially confirmed. This doesn't mean generations is never coming, but it's not coming this summer. It could come around Christmas time. From a business standpoint, that could make sense because you know everyone gets packs for Christmas. They know Generations is probably going to be one of the best selling packs with along with Seasons. So it would make sense to release a Generations type of pack around the Christmas months. So maybe that's what's going to happen. Again, I don't want to keep my hopes up because I just don't want to be disappointed, but one can hope at least a little bit, you know? <laughs> so comment down below, what do you guys think? Do you have any other ideas about what this bonding with nature expansion pack could be? I just really hope it's not like another, you know, thing like eco lifestyle and island living because that just wouldn't make sense. We have way too many like nature and like help the earth type of packs. And yes, that's very good. It's very good to encourage that li living eco-friendly and all of that. But how many times can you do that? You can't just keep like recycling those, ty those type of packs. You know, know, it doesn't really make any sense to me at all. We already have a whole expansion pack based on that, the whole eco living. And then we have island living, which is also an expansion pack. So yeah, I just feel like that's way too much there. And then of course we have the game packs that are also like within nature. So it, I uh, just, I don't know. I don't know you guys, but moving on to the game pack. So snag a cool new career with a creative new game pack. Now this I feel like is bands. I feel like it's like a music career where you could go with them because like that's being creative. That's also cool. <laughs> like that would be a cool career to have a band. You know what I mean? So I feel like that makes sense. And obviously bands have been requested. I think we've gotten like surveys about that. So that's what I'm thinking that is. If it's something else, I'm going to be very surprised to be honest. I just think it's a band's pack. That's the only thing I can think of. I got to say, that's the only thing I can think of for that. I guess there's other things it could be, but to me, I just think bands, nothing else has really entered my head. So comment down below if there's anything else you have thought of. And then as for the Sims event of the summer, we pretty much know what this is. We always have some sort of Sims event and I'm assuming they will announce the expansion pack there. I don't know for sure, but I'm assuming that's gonna happen. And then for the virtual block party that's for Pride, I'm really excited for that, as I already said. I definitely am excited to see what that's gonna be like. And I also don't know if then we'll be getting a free update for Pride. That would be really cool. So hopefully we can see that. But yeah, I think that's actually pretty much all I had to talk about with you guys. 
guys, I just wanted to go over everything that we're getting over the summer and kind of talk about what I feel like the packs could be. I am gonna wait it out to actually find out what these are, of course, before I go ahead and get too upset about anything because we don't really know what any of these could be. There's little hints there, but we don't know for sure and they could be throwing us off by using certain wording. We don't really know. So that's pretty much it, you guys. We're gonna go ahead and do our notification shout out. So this one goes to Bomber76. I would love to see that too. That would be so cool if you could make your own school and everything. How fun would that be? I think a whole schooling like game pack would be a really fun time. I would love to see that in the future, but thank you so much for your comment. And if you guys want a chance to be in a notification shadow, all you gotta do is comment down below. So with that said, you guys, I am gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys are all having an amazing, amazing day. And don't forget to leave some positivity down below. I love you guys also so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Honestly, I'm open wide. I don't feel like waking up without you by my side.